Have you ever wondered why is it that every time you look at the night sky, the shape of the moon, the portion of the moon that is lit, the size of the moon seems to be very different from every other night? Why is that? Gentlemen and ladies, you're welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be exploring the phases of the moon. Those shapes and sizes of the moon that you see every other night are called phases of the moon. And we're going to be exploring why that is. Alright, let's set the tune first. Let's make some setting things clear. First, our system of time on Earth are all based on the movement of astronomical objects. For instance, what is a day? A day is the amount of time it takes the Earth to complete one rotation, 24 hours. That is called a day, the movement of an astronomical object called Earth. Similarly, a year is the movement of another astronomical object, which is the Earth. How long it takes the Earth to go around the Sun, 365 days, and we call that a year. So, where does a month or a week come from? The amount of time it takes for the moon to revolve around the earth is called a month. As a matter of fact, the word month and moon are cognates. And how long does it take the earth or does it take the moon to revolve around the earth? 29 and a half days. 29.5 days. That is exactly how long it takes the moon to go around the earth completely in one revolution. That said, we're going to dive deeper into why we have moon phases. So the reason why we have the different shapes and the different portion of the moon lit at different times in different months, in different days of the month, is because of the moon's position as it revolves around the earth. So as it revolves around the earth, different position is assumed and that gives different angle of all the proportion of the moon that is lit by the sun. Keep in mind, half of all astronomical objects always face the sun and the other half is always in complete darkness. The same thing applies to the moon. However, it expands or it contracts based on the moon's position. Needless to say, the major reason why there are moon phases is the moon's revolution around the earth and the earth's rotation. Those are the two main reasons why we have moon phases. We have eight moon phases and we're going to explore them one after another. We'll start with the ones that are easily recognizable that you should always start from. First is the new moon. The new moon is the position where the moon is between the earth and the sun, right at the middle. And that is called the new moon because the moon is between. So when you look at the sky or when you look at the moon, all you see is a complete darkness because it's the shadow of the moon that ought to fall on earth because the moon is in between the sun and the earth. So when you are in this position on earth and you are trying to look at the moon, what you see is complete darkness because the moon blocks the light. So that is the moon, uh, the new moon. The opposite is true, the full moon, because the earth is now between the moon and the, and the sun. The moon is completely lit when you are right here in the position of the earth and then you look at the night sky, you see that the moon is completely lit by the sun because the moon is able to receive all the light coming from the sun. So all portions, all areas of the moon is completely lit. That is the full moon, fully lit. That's where it got the word from, full moon. As we established before, it takes the moon exactly 29.5 days. So let's just approximate it for easy calculation. Let's just put that at 30 days. That's the reason why uh, most calendar months are 30 days. So if it takes the moon one month, 30 days to go around the earth. So from new moon to the full moon, we can safely say it will be 15 days, which is half of its journey around the earth. And then from one full moon, to another new moon will be another 15 days. All right, easy peasy. It doesn't get any easier than that. The next two phases of the moon that are easy to recognize is the first quarter and the third quarter. As the name implies, quarter 
which means divide a circle into four parts and then you have your first quarter so when the moon is moving from this new moon phase and then it's going towards the full moon it makes its first quarter right around there which means uh if the earth if this was to divide the earth into four quarters this will be the first stop it's going to make for the first quarter before going into the full moon phase and then from the full moon you get into the third quarter and then from the third quarter you get into the final and last quarter which would be another new moon so simply put the new moon is the beginning this is the first quarter the full moon ought to be the second quarter but we call it the full moon and then from the second quarter you move to the third quarter and then from the third quarter you move to the final and last phase of the revolution which would be another new moon so simply put the quarters are in l shape an L shape with the earth and the sun so you can see that the first quarter and the third quarter they are very very identical the main difference here is the portion of it that is lit or the part of it that is lit for the first quarter it is the right side that is completely lit why for the third quarter it is the left side that is completely lit this picture would bring you more um, uh, we need more understanding to that first of all we have the first quarter uh, you have the new moon so here is completely dark when you're on the earth and you look at that completely dark and then when it gets to the first quarter and you are looking at the moon from this part of the earth you can see that half of it the right side of it is lit so that's the first quarter and then you move to the full moon phase you can see that the part of the moon facing the earth is all totally lit by the sun so that becomes your full moon and then you get to your third quarter so when you look at it from the earth you see that it is the left side that is lit if you were on this part of the earth and then you look at it you see that it's the left side of the moon that is lit uh, this diagram will do more justice to it right here so you see that the new moon and the full moon are in straight line with the direction of light sun but the new moon is between the earth and the sun while the full moon is uh is the earth between the moon and the sun so this is completely opposite to this this is completely dark because we don't see anything because it's the shadow of the moon that we get to see but in the moon phase we see the full moon completely lit however for the first quarter and the third quarter they are identical the main difference here is from the right hand side the first quarter is lit why for the third quarter it is the left hand side that is lit that's a major difference between uh, the first quarter and the third quarter and as we established earlier on it takes the moon approximately 30 days 29 and a half days to go around the earth so if it moves from the new moon to the full moon in 15 days we can safely say from the new moon to the first quarter it will be about seven days right 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 yeah right so this is about seven days and then this will be another 14 15 days which is the full moon and then another seven days you get to the third quarter and then another seven days you have the full moon in a nutshell this is one week this is two weeks this is three weeks and this is four weeks which makes one calendar month seven days seven days seven days seven days and bingo you have 28 29 days or 30 days to complete one full month which is one complete revolution of the moon around the earth all right hope you get it up to this point now we're going to introduce some intermediary uh phases of the moon so between the new moon phase and the first quarter you have what you call the waskin crescent it got the name based on the shape that is lit so even though half of it is not completely lit in the first quarter but a little more of it is lit compared to the new moon the new moon is completely dark so a little fraction a little slivery part of it like the shape of a crescent that's how it got the name waskin crescent so between the new moon and the first quarter you have your waskin crescent and then between the first quarter and the full moon you have the waskin gibbers what that simply means is more portion of the moon is lit now but it's not fully lit yet until it gets to the full moon phase simply put all of this phase that are lit on the right hand side lit on the right lit on the right lit on the right fully lit all of these are called wasking 
Waskin simply means to grow, to get stronger, to get better, to get bigger. So the portion of the moon that is being lit gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So all of these are called the Waskin phase of the moon. All right, from the new moon to the Waskin crescent to the first quarter to the Waskin gibbers and then the full moon. The opposite will be true. Instead of Waskin, now is waning. To win is to withdraw. To withdraw, which